Good morning everybody and welcome to episode 220 of my, my time in poison, no, of House and Garden Flipper. We are heading straight over to Pink Kingdom and uh, seeing what there is. Raphael Urko says it would be nice to have his own sauna at home, wouldn't it? Well, Mr. Urko, have you seen this house? We'll see. Ooh, that was bad. All right, so if I remember rightly, we um we had some spare plants I wanted to plant somewhere. So let's just get these in the ground. That's starting to look like a good spot. And we'll grab this one. So I wanted it kind of in here, but uh, oh, I can put it in there. It wasn't going to play the game yesterday. Where'd it go? There it is. All right. And I wanted to put one over there as well. I wonder if I wonder if it'll cooperate today. Let's see if it was just having a hissy. No, it was serious about not wanting to go in that space, wasn't it? Yes, it was. And did I hear? Yeah. Definitely not going to let me put one in there. I'll have to gravel over those two spots. In the meantime, we'll just put it right here. Matter of fact, I think I was supposed to put some smaller plants in in that space up there anyway. Let's just grab this one and we'll put it, I don't know, maybe over here. All right. Now, I've just noticed there's a lot of bareness in this spot part here so what we're going to do is we're going to grab some of our plants from out the back and um, we're using that one and we were using I think it was that so I'm thinking we might do with a couple of these little low growers just in here to kind of just fill some of these spaces I know, so many plants. Let's just make sure there's no more no more bits and areas that we could probably put these in. That will do, I think. Or maybe there. And there. Just lighten up some of the colour in here. Give us a couple of different profiles as well. There we go, look at this. I know, you thought I was done with this space. You know what, I thought I was done with this space too, but I guess not. Uh, I'm going to stick something else in there, don't worry. It's going to happen. Just Nothing like a bit of biodiversity. And this isn't that biodiversity diverse anyway, but anyway. Being bad boom. I know, I couldn't help it. So now I've just got to go through and dig all these guys back in. Uh, it shouldn't take me that long. I know, famous last words, don't mock me, we'll be fine. And I basically just want all of the plants uh, dug in before I even start watering or putting them in. Okay. I think we've done all of those. Let's just quickly zip through here. Uh, those we did. These need to go in. And this one over here. I probably could have done with some of these uh, pine trees up in those back corners where I've got some space, but uh, 
I think what we'll do with that is we may use some of those little round trees that we found. I know the space here is going to bother me. We'll not, we'll deal with it in a minute. So we're going to get the uh, the front area done. Just move that back this way. a great spot for the kids to play hide and seek really except that I don't think um, our target audience has children or is very fond of them we have to ask Giorgio he might have nephews or nieces or something there we go all right that looks pretty much like I've done that I just need to remind myself what the other plant was that I used I think it was like the little round uh, dwarf pine tree thingies. So we'll just go over here and uh, have a quick look in our needle plants section. I think it was, is it this one? I think it was this one over that one and I think it had very similar Ah, it might be that one. Let's have a look. Yeah. All right, we'll just change that to buy many. And uh, what we might do is we might put a couple of them down there. And maybe one over there. Stick that one in the middle there. And I'll put one here and one here and one here. they're just gonna stick up like um, little islands of lighter foliage I think that's probably all we need in this area so we'll wander this one through to the other area that we've got gaps in so maybe one there and one there Actually, these fit quite nicely uh, along here. There we go. All right, this should be it. Okay, let's just grab that one. I really like what they've done with the plants. Just being able to just do this is nice alrighty so rather than just go all around the yard like we did a minute ago we're going to cover everything with soil and we're going to just start uh, watering in each little section that we've got in reach Actually, I might go around the yard and just cover everything because it's so much easier just to get it all in. Okay, they're all done. So it's just a matter of spamming over them and making sure you cover them all up. And we'll just do each section like this section here because the bits between the path we shouldn't be able to capitalize on
There we go. Alright, this section looks like it's ready for watering. Oh, except for that. Let's fix that. Right. There we go. Alright, everything here is done. Just gotta fix this one. Alright, so we're just looking for little red circles now as we walk through. Uh, and I'm not seeing any, so we've watered everything. Wait a minute, I see some here. They're not quite in. So yeah, so we're just making sure everything is done. Right, so they're all in. Let's head over to this one, and we're going to do the same thing that we did before. Just basically cover each section uh, with soil that we can. So I'm thinking, yeah, the big guy got watered in as well. And then we'll just head up into here. So this, this should signal pretty much the end of the front garden once we get all of these watered in. And everything's not so dark once that happens. All right. That's all done. Let's get this big thing here done. Yep, that's all done. All right, let's cover things with soil and just get into it. Pretty much coming into the end of 2020 when I record this, and it has been an incredible year. Um, probably for all a lot of the wrong reasons, but 
still here. So hopefully 2021 will be kinder. so many plants that's right and i haven't dug all of these ones in have i i should know that all right one section at a time by the numbers or not who needs numbers well actually the coding needs numbers we'd be in trouble without it well let's just get these done all right so this is um a different interpretation of the american garden it's uh, supposed to be low maintenance, although with this many plants, I, I have my doubts. Alrighty, let's just get these guys in. Okay. Also, once you water them in, it gets a little bit easier to work out what you haven't done. I love the colour change. Alright, that looks pretty good. Just wander along the top here. Let's put the plant in. There we go. Just have to find a hole to put it in. And just cover these ones around us with soil. Might just jump it over here and do the same for this one. shortly hopefully before the sun sets get this place done we also haven't put lights in um, which which we're going to need to do Very therapeutic doing it this way. There we go. And this one. And I keep forgetting to do this with them. So as you can see, we're currently close to being surrounded by a sea of red circles. Which is not going to last for very long. We'll fix it. I suppose I could have gotten away with just one plant along each side but uh, where would be the fun in that these guys are easy to miss because they're not discolored due to the Due to not being put in. So they look like they're watered in, but they're not. That's where your um your mini map comes in.
All right. So this looks it looks like I've got everything. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to start at this corner and just Oops, that one's not dug in yet. I love the way the water just sprays onto other onto the others. Alright, that looks like the last one on this side. Yep, so we've just got these ones to look out for now. Oh, cover it with soil. So this is how you find the ones you missed covering with soil. Because they won't turn green with all the others. Alright, so that pretty much looks like we've got everything. We'll just do a quick scoot through. Look for any red circles on our mini map. Just go through this way. So it looks like everything is done. So the last thing we need to do in this section is um, is put in some lights. So let's get let's get our diamond lights and we'll get those done. I really like the new organization. We might actually look at some outdoor lamp tools as well. Uh, but for the moment, I can't remember what color I used. Oops. Okay, let's get these in and we might just, while we're here, we'll turn them all on. Just give ourselves a little bit of light to work by. Also helps us work out where we've been and where we need to go. can get one in here we need to and also here now the last thing really actually that we need to do is not the lights it's the gravel because we haven't got any in so we will do that I just love the, it's like stars in a forest.
And again, just going to pop this over here in the corner so no one runs into the bushes by mistake. They're not exactly parallel and that probably should bother me, but it doesn't. The garden's not a, a symmetrical garden. So I don't think it's a good thing for the lights to be symmetrical either. So I think, like I said, I think we should have some of these tall lights out out here, but maybe not. I don't know. Let's have a look. Yeah, we need a tall light. Let's see what we can do about that. So I'm thinking an outdoor lamp tall. Uh, there, I'd like to put it about here. I just want to see which way it's facing. So I want it to actually be facing that way. Oops, that's not which way I want it to be. Yeah, I want it to be this way. I kind of like that this is not as brightly lit as it could be. All right, that is the front. Let's get it out of these gates. Uh, I'm just going to see. All right, so we probably need to do something along in here. Maybe, I don't know, some chairs. We definitely need coach lights. I know, because they look pretty. Just put one up here. And I might just turn it on so I don't have to come back. And, oops, it's just. And we'll put one here. And maybe one on either side of the garage. I know, I'm not afraid of the dark, you are. All right, that one is too high. Or it could just be the rest of them are too low, but let's bring it down. I'm just trying to work out if I can live with these lights facing in different directions. I think I can. All right, that is our outdoor front yard. Uh, the only thing that I might think about doing is putting a bench or a table, like a little cha a chair and table here. And then we're gonna leave this area clear. But let's get inside. I think I had a lounge room to go and I also had uh, a foyer and a large bedroom and I wanted to keep Giorgio Shanwa at the top if I could so all right we'll start in this corner I wanted to put something in here I was thinking of maybe making it a um, like a bookshelf but I don't think that there are any shelves that'll fit let's uh, let's check it out anyway we'll just grab our furniture I'm still getting used to navigating uh, I think it's found in the living room sure it's found in the living room so we've got these but they're they're more um punky than i want to put well that's kind of cute uh it is a green room let's think of i'm thinking we either do timber or we do white uh usually i, I do white for this which might be a good reason not to let's see if one of these will fit says so she just okay these are wooden ones uh let's go for the for the light I'm thinking that's too contrasty, so we might just go with the metal and then go with the white metal. Uh, and actually, that's that's good; it does fit. Ah, oh, pretty. 
So you know what? We've been given these beautiful little bonsai things. Where are they? Okay, so box, fireplaces, hanging decorations. I'm just seeing what else there is. Standing decorations, I haven't really ooh, had a look at. Sculptures, we need more of those, that'd be cool. Cups, that's kind of cool. Uh, fireplaces, floor. All right, so what I was thinking of was heading into plants, grabbing our, um, these things, because they're kind of cute. We have green, so I'm thinking we might just, we might go with our light blues, our ice blues, and our white. Uh, so let's, let's see what we've got. So, I mean, you can have different... Uh, different trees all the way up. Oh yeah, I like this. I may just have to jump up. Up. Ah, oh, fine. I'm going to have to um, just grab maybe a paint can or, I don't know, a chair. Something I can stand on. Uh, okay, walls. I know, white paint. All right, it's, it's not really a paint can. It's, it's actually just uh, a, a stepping stool for me to step on. What I want to do is, as long as you can look down at a shelf, you can put something on it. And I'm thinking maybe I need to grab this, just pop him over here, grab this, pop that one up there, slightly to one side. So we've got this like a uh, line of trees leading our eye down. There, see? And uh, then down at the bottom there we need something different. I am tempted to put pink in there, but what I might put in is another blue. And uh, we're going to put it... No, not that colour. Okay, no, it does look like a white then. And then we want one of these little small trees again. Uh, no, dark blue. No, not the dark blue. Uh, probably that mid blue. And uh, over here, I want. I just want something tall and narrow but I don't think we've got anything that will really fit the bill for that space um so I know that that won't fit so yeah see <laughs> Duh. so like I said I want something tall that will fit in that space I don't think we've got anything that really that will really do what we want it to. I think even the chlorophytum is, um, yeah, that's a little too swaggy and big. It's nice though. I just we want something like that. Uh, what about the zamia? Oh gosh, no. What about we could try the spathophyllum and just make the pot completely, completely white. It's actually not as tall as I want it to be. All right, it won't, whoops, it won't fit. Let's try this. I could put chives in. The sclefera is probably gonna to be too tall. Oh boy, yes, the sclefera is too tall. 
Uh, the parsley, this spather, this spather film is also probably too tall. Oh my gosh, yes, that's way too tall. Uh, hmm. Let's have a look at the little ficus and see if that goes any better. No, it's bigger than it looks. About the, I think the different batchy is too big as well. Yeah. Uh, don't really want a splash of red just there. So maybe the um, the sensuria I think is, yeah, it's just that little bit too tall. It's narrow though, like we need. The juca will be definitely too tall. All right, so we're going to have to go back and look at. I've actually been wondering whether or not we should stick chives in here because yeah they don't they don't work either really do they all right I'm gonna have to pick a tree I might repeat this tree but we're gonna turn it back the other way and we're gonna turn it white so uh, let's grab where is it? That one. Turn it white. Buy that. We're going to pop it down here. I oh, know that won't work. Um, yeah, it's too much white in one space. About this one. It's the same shade of blue. No, it's not. It's dark. It's light enough. All right, so that's how that sounded. That doesn't fit, does it? Duh. I know. I need something. I can't work out what it is. Let's try um that the Hayworth here. The Phobia Miller. Oh, that that would be even worse. What is this? Big. And, and I'm assuming, what's that? Also big. What was I doing? I was looking for a plant. And that wasn't it. All right, I think I'm just going to have to pick a tree, any tree, and it'll just have to do. Let's grab one of those. Uh, let's make it the dark blue. No, we've already got a dark blue one. White. I oh, know, I'm hedging toward this white. It'll do. Okay, so what we've got now is we have, we still just have a generic room. We've got that sitting over there in the corner. Uh, which way does my door open? That way. So technically I could put a small table and chair here uh, in this area and maybe a shelf above. I probably shouldn't have zapped that paint can. So let's grab our uh, furniture. Let's have a look at our tables. Oh, okay. Dining room, maybe. See, we, if we had a tall table, we could put those tall chairs in. We don't want a proper dining table, we just want a really, like a coffee, not a coffee table, um, a small, really small table. Simple table, that is that is tiny, I remember that. It might be all we've got, let's just grab this thing. Actually, let me just, yeah, so that wouldn't have fitted in there, I just, like a, a, a single little cafe table. All right, failing that, let's let's grab ourselves an armchair, which is living room, armchair. Okay, and what we're going to do and this is kind of cute. So what I'm thinking is maybe um Maybe if I grab this, oh, that's blue. Okay, we don't want blue. Uh, and I want the base to be really light. 
So I'm thinking we could probably put this here. And then what we could probably do is grab ourselves maybe another one of those. So it's like kind of a little sitting nook. Okay, hang in there, Giorgio. Don't let them take the first place. Um, and then what we want is like a table. And we want a really narrow table. So if we've got the Carlo. Uh, let's actually, let's go with the glass. And then the white metal legs. And I'm thinking that should fit there. And then what we'll do is we'll put, we'll put a, a, like a plant or something on it. I mean, I could go with that again, but we've, we've used those in one corner. I really like this, but it's pink. Um, and I need, I need something with a slightly different flower. So, um, hmm. actually, let's have a look at this. Yellow. Let's have a look at the... Okay, just a really minimalistic kind of feel to it. Uh, I'm thinking windows and I'm thinking uh, a specific, it's not a really loud pattern. See, see that, that would work for me. Uh, but what I wanted was I wanted something like uh, none of that. <laughs> I know that's not helpful. No. That there's a wallpaper with like flowers on it, but what I wanted was I wanted it in the blinds. That's not going to happen, so I need to think about it. I think maybe the closest we'll get is something like this. Let's just because this will bring our white furniture together, or it'll look terrible. One of the two. I'm going to leave it there till it irritates me. Okay, it may have irritated me already. Uh, the only other one I think that might work in that case is that. I'm not entirely 100% happy with it, but it, it can stay. Which means we now know what blinds we're putting up everywhere, so let's just get them up. And we don't need to worry about what we're going to put on these because it's all the same. Let's just assemble those up. I don't know, I'm beginning to regret using the green, but the white just appeared to be too stark. All right, we'll stick with it. So we've got a coffee table and lounge chairs, we've got our blinds up and these are pretty heavy blinds because we actually want them to, um, to work so that's fine. See with the white doors maybe the white blinds would have been better. Let me just try it on this one. I know bear with me. Hopeless is what I am. I don't know. I don't know. Just don't know. I'm going to leave that up there until it irritates me. Matter of fact, let's actually change this one out as well. You know, I'm thinking that might be the way to go, at least for those two. 
Um, ask me again in a minute for these. What we want in here is we want a, uh, a really big television set. So let's go with that. And we actually might put it on the wall. And I might put two. We'll just see if Giorgio likes two TVs. All right, no one's complaining yet. Let's uh, let's put in a corner lounge suite. Just to see how that goes. Sofas. I mean, we can blend the green through with this if we want to. Uh, I'm not sure I want to, that's the question. Possibly, possibly use so if I hit that, yeah, I see it. I'm not, let me just have a look. See, for me, that's the wrong green and there's not enough contrast. So I'm actually thinking we may go with the white. That is an ugly sofa, isn't it? Let's, um, let's have a look at what we've got in leather. I mean, there is this one as well. This will get rid of the real estate agent really good because he doesn't like expensive items. Uh, I want the other way around though. So I want a left corner sofa. Maybe. Oh yeah, a left corner sofa. Wow. That was completely unexpected. Uh, okay, but we are going to change these blinds. Holy dooly. So Jimmy Trader, for me, is one of the hardest people to sell a house to. He likes big lounge rooms. And I know the tips keep telling me that he likes, um, what do you call it? He also likes red walls, but you know what? I've, I've only ever deliberately sold um, a house to him using that technique, and I'm actually really surprised that he that he's suddenly appeared on the screen. Although I probably should have expected it, because like I said, he adores his really big living rooms, and this is a really big living room. We may disappoint him. We can actually turn this into a, um, a home cinema. And what we'll do is we'll experiment with whether or not putting the home cinema in is uh, is going to change whether or not he buys it. So let's have a look at cabinets. And I'm going to grab that big modern TV Andy thing because it's it's the best thing that I can think of. There it is. Now uh, we're again going to do we're going to do a white on white thing with this. And just um, pivot it and pop it. right there. I'm actually surprised to not see Raphael Urko uh, in here because he um, he particularly adores these. What I'm going to do is grab this cyberpunk TV and pop it up here. I'm going to grab this and just move it up a little bit. Actually I really don't want that one now. Let's just I know right? No, no, I'll leave them there. Let's um, let's grab our coffee tables. So down to tables. And I like the Inspire because I can do a couple of things with it, but it's quite cheap. Uh, the We've also got... We've got the Erop. And the Memo. Memo. Uh, we have the Foro, the Ven... Where's the Rivka? The I'm butchering the names. The Rutschik. There's the Rutschik. I mean, actually, I've never looked at that one. What's that like? Something that looks much better in timber, I tell you. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? All right, not the table for this room, then. Uh, wooden coffee table, little round one. I don't really want a round one in here. Let's have a look at this. All right, it doesn't look too impressive. 
See, and this is why I was looking at the other one because, I mean, I could put that there and it does fit. Um, but what I want is it like a square memo, if there is one. And the air up is, is actually the air up might fit. Let's put that. Wow, I, wow, I, I don't know how I'm going to get Giorgio back unless it's to shrink this lounge room, which I can. I can whack in a couple of walls and that would be fine. Oh, that's right. We're going to try and see what um, what effect having having a um, electronic equipment. These are the new kitchen bits. Nice. Um, okay, what was I doing? I was looking for speakers. Now, last time I checked, um, some of the speakers in here... Ooh, I have not seen this before. This will get rid of our real estate agent because uh, he does not like expensive stuff in the lounge room. I'm not succeeding in removing him, am I? Uh, you know what we might do? We may, we may move the lounge chair forward just a squiggle. All right, no, let's not do that. That will drive me crackers. Crackers enough, I don't need help. We're going to grab some other little speakers. So there's a, oh, a low profile fancy fez. See, I don't know if the game recognizes these speakers as speakers. Um, there were a couple that it wasn't. So basically to turn your lounge room into a um, cinema, you need to have several speakers. And if the game doesn't recognize the speakers, there's two. All right. So basically it's not recognizing those speakers as speakers for the purpose of a home cinema. So what we need to do is get the speakers that work. So it probably won't recognize these ones either. Um, let me just find they're an older speaker so the mountain speakers it will recognize uh, so we might just they're not as sexy as the other ones but basically I should be able to get this thing yes once you put once you put more than one speaker in so it's a shame I'm just might, might have to put that in as a as an error report I don't know don't like causing trouble but then again uh, if you fulfill the requirements and it doesn't work for you I guess you'd be pretty cross so yeah so sometimes when you put two speakers in the game doesn't recognize them as speakers for the purpose of a home cinema so just be aware of that um, I'll put a I'll put a bug report in and, and they'll probably fix that by the time you guys get to it alrighty so now we have a home cinema but but Jimmy Trader has stayed at the very top, so we may have to turn that back into a lounge room. Um, otherwise, we're going to lose out on sales. This room needs a white rug on the floor because decoration is for the floor. All right. Now, I don't think I've got an ellipsis carpet anywhere. Ah, uh, no. That would be handy. Let's just have a look. No, that's too grey. We need actually something that looks pretty white. All right, and this is how quick your game can turn um, from from you being successful with one to having to, to suddenly losing your client. Um, for the curious, if I was to want to turn this back into a house for what's his face I would let me just see we'll, we'll wall off this bit so what we'll do is we're going to shrink the lounge room um, and by shrinking the lounge room I'm hoping this is going to be annoying if it doesn't work I'm hoping one two three four let's not get too carried away All right, so it's still got Jimmy at the top there. 
no worries uh, I'm going to wall off this section here so we have a walkway uh, which which I don't really want but anyway let's see what we can do we'll just grab this this will give us plenty of spaces for bookcases actually I do know one surefire way to get rid of this guy that doesn't involve me building a hundred walls I think that goes oh let me just grab this light it's being a menace Pop that over there okay so what we're trying to do is is get rid of Jimmy Traitor without losing too much in our house price we're trying to get rid of him by basically making Giorgio Shanwa really pleased three four uh, really pleased to buy the place as in more pleased to buy the place than the other guy so the first thing we're going to do is shrink the lounge room so it's now 28 and he's back at the top okay so sometimes it's just as simple as knowing your client preferences so in this case we wanted Giorgio Shanwa to be at the top uh, and I, I didn't see if let me just break one of these walls I didn't see if that was because okay and now I'll just put that back in so basically I told it that that was part of this room by removing that wall let's put that in all right now I, it didn't say whether I got that because suddenly um, Jimmy Trader was less eager to buy the house or if it was because Giorgio Shanwa was more eager so I guess what we're going to do now is uh, I suppose we have to paint this room and I will call it I will call this episode here I think I've run a little bit over time so next episode we're going to paint the room and I forget did I use lime green no, I think I used pistachio medium all right so next episode we're going to paint this room pistachio uh, we'll finish the painting in here with pistachio we'll add in two more doors or I could just leave them open like that and we'll uh, we'll play with these lights so they're a bit more decent but on this note or maybe even on this note no not this note on this note I'm gonna leave you guys uh, if you've enjoyed the episode please hit like if you want to see more please hit subscribe and I'll check you later